Please know the brand name of this one. I'm going to show you these need to be maintained like once a year, taken apart, clean, make sure they're working properly. And then um, we're going to follow up. Dylan's going to do another video on some troubleshooting if we're having problems with these. First thing you're going to want to do is obviously probably going to be on a pump. You're going to want to isolate your pump, pock it out, take it out, shut your water valves off. Drain the pressure either on the pump or you can break the fitting on your play valve. Make sure all your pressure is off before you start working on it. And at that point, once everything's drained down, then you take these copper fittings loose. Obviously, right now they're hand tight. So you take all these copper fittings off the play valve. Take all these bolts off the top of the bonnet of the clay valve. We have a diaphragm and a seat and a disc in here is actually what opens and closes and controls your pressure. Once you take this off, take that out, you got a spring on here. And then you have a diaphragm assembly with uh, your seat and your seat disc. Make sure this is uh, clean. You can take it to the slot stand, clean it off, make sure it's not bubbled. Make sure your rubber under here is not worn or torn or messed up or starts deteriorating. If it does, you can replace this. This whole assembly comes as one kit. Take this top to the uh, Slot sink, and then here where your fittings are is a common place for these to start plugging up with rust and calcium. You want to clean all this out. Take like a little Scotch Bright or something, not too abrasive. These are epoxy lines to help stop corrosion. So you don't want to start digging in here with a screwdriver and digging this epoxy out. So just take something nice, clean all that out, rinse everything out, run water through here, run water through here. This is actually a check valve. Replaceable part. If you run water through here, you can actually see the check valve arrow goes this way. So water can run through this way. If you want to make sure that check valve is working, you can put water in here and tip it up and make sure that it's not coming out there. Or you can actually look in and see or just make sure it's working right. If it's not working right, you can replace them with a replaceable part. You have your check valve here. And then you also have one on the side of the play valve also. You're going to want to uns unscrew this, take that apart. You have a screen that goes in the side here that needs to be taken out and clean. You can uh, take that, like I said, to the slot sink, clean all that out, put that back in. Check that check valve to make sure that it's actually working and checking and working properly the correct way. Put that back together with the chuck valve on. This side, when we took off, there's a restrictor. So one of these parts right here, it actually has a nylon little hole in it. You want to make sure that hole over a period of time, five, six, seven, eight years, this hole will start getting bigger and bigger. And what happens if the valve doesn't react like it should? So this would be a replaceable part also. But as long as that hole is clear, and it hasn't gotten any bigger than what it uh, started out at. This part should be perfectly fine. Also, your pilot valve, what we recommend is unscrewing that, and where the pilot goes into the side of the play valve, we'll go in and make sure that that's open. This is a common spot. A lot of times, when people rebuild these, put everything back together, they go to, to try adjusting the pilot, and it's, everything's still not working. That little hole on the side is plugged up with rust. It won't, it won't uh, work. So take on screw that, stick on screwdriver in there, and make, make sure that's cleaned up. Put some plate coat and tape on it, and then put that back together. This is a speed control. That'll be going over, going over what these different parts do in the next section of the clay valve. This is mainly just cleaning it. So at that point, after everything's clean, everything's done. This can be washed out. You can actually crack your water out a little bit. Let the water run through.
through, flush out any debris or any corrosion that's in here. So now everything's clean, ready to go back together. These parts look good. You can actually put that back in. You don't need a gasket or anything. You can use the same part. They seal up nice. Put this back together. Uh, actually, actually, when I took it apart, you don't have two. I, I ended up putting two marks on here, so you know when you put this back together, you put it back on the same orientation as you took it off. Make sure you put the spring back in there. That spring is a tension that holds that diaphragm down. So you'll put your leg back on. You'll tighten your screws. Snug them all up all the way around first, and then go back around a second time and tighten them up. Then you will go ahead and you will put your copper tubing back on. And once everything is tightened up and set, you can go ahead and turn your crack your water back on, turn your suction discharge on. You want to take the, the highest point of this clay valve, crack this top fitting, and make sure you bleed the air out of it. Um, do that with the pump not running. You'll get, you'll get some air coming out at first, and then you'll start getting water coming out. Once you do that, then you can put that fitting back on. All you have to do is crack that fitting like a half a turn, three quarters of a turn. You'll feel the, feel the air come out. Tighten that back up. You can unlock your pump at that point and put the uh, clay valve back into the system. Like I said, if you're just doing maintenance, you shouldn't have to do any more adjustments to it. You shouldn't have to do any adjustments to your pressure. On the next uh, session, Dylan will be going over how to set that and speak to the or anything back to what the different parts are. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please give us a call.